Please stand. Masaya natin ipaghanda ang pagdating ng manunubos tagapagligtas natin Tuwiri mga landas mga alitan ay tapusin sapagkat si Kristo'y darating In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask a blessed Mary ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, O Lord, to make ready the paths of your only begotten Son, that through his coming we may, we may be found worthy to serve you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, your God, who grabs your right hand. It is I who say to you, Fear not, I will help you. Fear not, O warn Jacob, O Magot Israel. I will help you, says the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. I will make of you a threshing sledge, sharp, new, and double-edged, to thresh the mountains and crush them, to make the hills like chaff. When you winnow them, the wind shall carry them off, and the storm shall scatter them. But you shall rejoice in the Lord and glory in the Holy One, of Israel. The afflicted and the needy seek water in vain. Their tongues are patched with thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open up rivers on the bare heights and fountains in the broad valleys. I will turn the desert into a marshland and the dry ground into springs of water. I will plant in the desert the cedar, acacia, myrtle, and olive. I will set in the wasteland the cypress, together with the plane tree and the pine, that all may see and know, observe and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this, the Holy One of Israel has created it the word of the lord thanks be to god the lord is gracious and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness the lord is gracious and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness i will extol you O my god and king and i will bless your name forever and ever the lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Let them make known to men your might in the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, 
and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a Savior. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Amen, I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent are taking it by force. All the prophets and the law and the law prophesied up to the time of John. And if you're willing to accept it, he is Elijah, the one who is to come. Whoever has ears ought to hear. My dear brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyo at welcome po sa Minor Basilica ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Sino nga ba ang tunay na dakila? Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Madalas tinatanong yan. Sino ang pinakadakila? Who is the greatest among all the prophets? Dagdagan natin. Kung titingnan natin, maraming propeta po ang dumaan bago si San Juan Bautista. Si Moses, si Elijah, si Elisha, so on and so forth. Ang dami-dami po. At kung titingnan natin, ang dami nilang ginawa. Halimbawa si Moses, si Nate, ang dagat. No? Para makadaan yung mga Israelita. May mga nagpagalig. May, ram- may kumontra sa gobyerno that time. So kung titingnan natin, ano bang ginawa ni San Juan Bautista? Ang ginawa niya ay inihanda ang daan ng Diyos. Pero kung titingnan natin, bakit sinabi ni Kristo dito na but none greater than John the Baptist? Ibig sabihin kasi, si San Juan Bautista is a person with great humility. Sabi nga, if you want to be great, be humble. It is in his humility that John the Baptist recognized the Lord and preach the truth about Jesus. Kung titingnan din natin, ibig sabihin pala, yung mga dakila sa buhay natin at sa buhay ng Kristiyano, these are the people who recognize and will point to the Lord that He is the Lamb of God, the one who will take away our sins. John the Baptist, with all humility, simula pa nung nasa sinapupunan pa lang siya, Imagine, na sinapupunan pa lang si San Juan Bautista, he already recognized the presence of God. Remember, sa visitation, nung bisita, binisita ni Mama Mary, si Elizabeth, anong nangyari? The baby, yung sa sinapupunan ni Elizabeth, left for joy. Because John the Baptist, even his younger years, recognized the presence of the Messiah. At nung nagsimula na nga siya sa kanyang ministry, sumisikat na, nagbibinyag, nung dumaan si Kristo, sikat na siya that time si San Juan Bautista. May mga tagasunod na rin, may mga disciples na rin. Pero nung nakita niya si Kristo, anong sinabi niya? He is humble enough to say that this is the Lamb of God, this is the Messiah, and you follow Him. Kaya kung titingnan natin, greatness is all about recognizing and bringing people to God. It is all about being faithful to the mission that God has given us. Ano ba yung mission ni San Juan Bautista? Ihanda ang daan 
para sa Mesiyas. Which is, kung titinan natin, yun din talaga ang kanyang ginawa. Repent! Because the kingdom of God is at hand. At nung makita niya si Jesus, walang, no, no second thoughts, sinabi niya, kahit nung kanyang mga disciples, doon kayo sumunod, huwag sa akin. Because He is the Lamb of God, He is the Messiah. Di ba sa perspektibo ngayon? Minsan tinatanong natin yung pag may sumusunod sa'yo, tinatanong mo yung loyalty ng mga yan. Kaya kung tingtinan natin sa perspektibo ng langit, at lupa, magkaiba yung greatness. Sapagat pagdating doon sa lupa, nadit doon sa langit, yung greatness, nawawala na yung ating mga dagdag. Halimbawa ako, Father Norman, mawawala na yung father, wala na rin yung OP. Pag nandun ka daw sa langit, wala ka na ibang ginagawa, kundi pinupuri ang Diyos, sapagat nakapasok ka ng langit. Sa amin sa mga Bisaya, meron kaming kasabihan eh, na ang importante, maluwasta, malangit pag yun. Ibig sabihin, ang mahalaga, maligtas tayo, makapasok ka pa ng langit. Pagdating doon sa langit, wala na yung titles natin. Sapagat lahat tayo ay nakatingin na lang sa Diyos, pumupuri. Kaso dito sa lupa, greatness would mean many things for us. Naku, ang galing-galing naman. Kasi dito sa lupa, kailangan ikaw ay dakila kapag ka, una, marami kang nagawa. Yung pangalan mo, maraming dagdag sa simula, pati sa dulo, na kuminsan hindi mo na maintindihan. ba diba? Minsan yung mga may PhD, may kung ano pang dinadagdag dyan. Okay po yan, sapagkat lahat naman po tayo ay tinawag ng Diyos na maging, maging dakila at gamitin kung anong ibinigay sa atin. Insulto din sa Diyos kapag ka hindi natin ginamit yung ating utak. ba? Diba? Kasi sa, dito sa lupa, wala namang contest dito ng pabubuhan. Meron ba? Patangahan. Imagine mo, ikaw ang pinakatanga sa manawag. Wala eh. Hinahamon tayo ng Diyos na ang pagiging dakila is to recognize and to bring people to God. Kaya dakila si San Juan Bautista sapagkat he is the first one to recognize other than Mama Mary, by the way, the presence of God. And he is also the first one to give up everything. Yung kanyang mga disciples, yung, kanyang, yung lahat ng sumunod sa kanya. To give up those things, kasikatan lahat. To give way to the Lord. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Follow Him. Kaya nga kung titignan natin yung kadakilaan talaga, tayo po ay dakila, ikaw po ay ulirang ama, ulirang ina, ikaw po ay dakilang kung, kung ano man yan, title mo sa buhay, if you recognize that you need God, and if you recognize that everything you have is all about God. Sinasabi nga, di ba sa isang kanta, Walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang at walang namamatay para sa sarili lamang. Lahat tayo ay magkaugnay at lahat tayo ay babalik sa Diyos. Kaya ang pagiging dakila dito is to recognize the goodness of the Lord in our lives and to bring people at maiparamdam natin sila sa kanila ang presensya ng Diyos sa buhay nila. Di ba sa pagpapamilya, maramdaman, may mga tatay, nanay dito, na sabi na, naku, dakila talaga yung aking ama, yung aking ina, sapagkat naramdaman ko ang pagmamahal ng Diyos sa pamamagitan nila. Yan, dakilang ina yan, dakilang ama yan. We make the presence of God present in our very own family, in our very own community. Kaya nga, kung gusto natin maging dakila, recognize the presence of God in our lives. And let us bring other people to also recognize and appreciate that presence of God in our lives. And hopefully, we could utter the words, just like St. John the Baptist who said, 
This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Follow Him. Let us all stand. The Lord Jesus praised John the Baptist for bringing the people to God by the preaching repentance. In prayer, let us intercede for the people of the world and their needs. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may continue to call people to turn away from sinful ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That men and women who are entrusted with authority may make justice flourish in our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the poor and the downhearted may hear the good news of salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may hold on to what is good and avoid every form of evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may see the salvation of God in his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we also pray for our personal intentions. And we also, in a very special way, we also pray for the safety of all those who will be traveling today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, in your love, listen to our prayers and make us like John the Baptist, fearless and humble witness of your son's teaching throughout the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the price of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
Bismil. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray for the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perceptive. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. 
Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected at all times. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherds of soul and Savior of the nation, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick. And afterwards, we pray for the blessing of the rosaries and other articles and images. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.